Hello once again, everyone. This is Mrs. McAteer, back to share the Bible story for Sunday, April the 19th with you. And in this particular story, there are some very important words from Jesus that are meant especially for us. First, let's sing our B-I-B-L-E song. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible, the best book in the whole wide world. And in today's story, I'm going to read to you first from the Beginner's Bible for the younger children who are watching. This is the Bible that we use every Sunday morning. And today's story is called Jesus Returns. Let me get it over here so I can read it to you from over on this side. Hopefully you can see the pictures pretty well. The disciples had locked themselves in a small room because they were very afraid of the leaders of the Jewish people. They were afraid that they would the soldiers might come and arrest them. They do look a little, that one looks a little afraid there, doesn't he? And this is what happened. Suddenly, Jesus appeared to them and he said, Peace be with you. They thought he might be a ghost, but he was Jesus. And he said to them, Touch my hands and my feet, and you will know that it is really and truly me. Let's look at this picture. It's kind of hard to hold this book because we're getting near the end of this Bible. The disciples cheered and shouted with joy. They were very, very, very happy to see Jesus once again. Now, there was one disciple who wasn't there that day. His name was Thomas. And we're going to hear about him when we read this story from the Gospel according to John in the 20th chapter starting in the 19th verse. This is coming from the other Bible that the older children read from on Sunday mornings. The heading is, Jesus appears to his disciples. This also appears in all three of the other Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. The disciples were afraid of the Jewish leaders, and on the evening of the same Sunday, meaning after Jesus had risen, they locked themselves in a room, and suddenly, Jesus appeared in the middle of the group. He greeted them and showed them his hands and his side. And when the disciples saw the Lord, they became very, very happy. After Jesus had greeted them again, he said, I am sending you just as the Father has sent me. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive their sins, they will not be forgiven. And then we go on to this next part of the story. Although Thomas the twin was one of the 12 disciples, he wasn't with the others when Jesus first appeared to them. So they told him, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, first, I must see the nail scars in his hands and touch them with my finger. I must put my hand where the spear went into his side. I will not believe unless I get to do this. So a week later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. Jesus came in while the doors were still locked and stood in the middle of the group. He greeted his disciples and he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into my side. Stop doubting, Thomas, and have faith. And Thomas replied, You are my Lord and my God. And these are the words that Jesus said to Thomas. Thomas, do you have faith in me because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet they believe in me. And those
those are the words that I was talking about. They are, in fact, our Bible verse for today that I've written on our, on our eraser board. These are the words that Jesus said that are so important to us. Let's read them together two times. Blessed are those who do not see and yet believe, and yet they believe in me, Jesus said. And this is from John chapter 20, verse 29. One more time. Blessed are those who do not see, meaning who do not actually see Jesus face to face, and yet they believe in me. Jesus said, John chapter 20, verse 29. I'd like for you to read that story in your Bible. and It's a very important Bible verse for us to know. Let's talk about that for just a minute. So Thomas did not believe that Jesus had risen from the dead yet because he didn't get to see him. So therefore, he didn't think it was real. And then, when he did get to see Jesus in person, face to face, then he believed. So what Jesus is saying that those who believe in him without seeing him will be very especially blessed. And who do you think that Jesus is talking about? Jesus is talking about all of us, all of us, and all of the Christians all around the world who believe in Jesus and believe that Jesus is God's son and believe that Jesus is our savior who came and died on the cross to forgive us for our sins and that he rose again so that he could go to heaven and make a place, a mansion with many, many rooms where we may all come and live with him forever and ever. So these are the important words that Jesus said to you and to me, that, that even though we haven't seen, we are blessed because we believe in him. And that means that we trust him. We trust in him with all our heart. We believe his promises. We know what he says is true. I'm going to try and sing Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Again, I can't play the music. I'm going to see if I can get the na 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 parts right. And you sing along with me because so, I know you all know this song. Na 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 Oops, sorry. Na. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. That's all I'm going to sing because I've got a frog in my a frog in my throat. So what does it tell us to trust in the Lord with all our heart? Don't rely on our own thoughts. Believe what Jesus tells us, and he will make our path straight. He will guide us in the way that he wants us to go. These are very important thoughts for us to have and very important things for us to understand. Okay, let's go ahead and close then with our echo prayer. Let's close our eyes. Now before my prayer is said, I close my eyes, bow my head, and fold my hands. And, and you repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, again today we say thank you, Jesus, for being our Savior and for dying on the cross to take away our sins and for coming back to life on that very first Easter so that if we believe in you and trust in you and love you with our whole heart then we may someday come to heaven and live with you forever and ever throughout all eternity. What an amazing plan you have for saving all the people in the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now I also want to tell you that Miss Mamie has put together a project for you today. And you can also find that on um, YouTube. It's a project how to make a rain stick and we're trying to find projects that you can make with things that you already have at home so be sure and watch that because i think it looks like it's really going to be fun and you can use it when you're singing your song from your musical i know my god is near all right great to see you all again well to talk to you all again i look forward to when we can all be back together have a great week see you next sunday